Hi there, my name is Randy Fay. I'm, I work with DRUD on the DDEV Local Project, which is a local development environment for web developers, especially PHP web developers, but it would work in a lot of other contexts too. Anyway, it works great with Drupal and WordPress and Typo3 and Backdrop. All of those things work great, so you can have an isolated local development environment for your website. Um, so I'm gonna go through it from scratch um, I need to install Docker and DDEV. Docker is required for this. So I'm just going to, let's see, I'll just search here for download Docker CE for Mac. And I can just go here and get it. I can just say get Docker. It's also down here, you can say get Docker CE stable. Stable is what you want. I've got that downloaded right here. I'm going to install it right quick and we will go forward. All of the documentation of how to do this is right here in the DDEV documentation. I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to go ahead and copy Docker to my applications folder and then I'll just close this up and we're just going to run Docker now. And I'll say, yes, I want to open it. And then it walks me through privileged access. And then it starts up. And uh, it does fine. You don't have to log in here to do anything that we're going to do. Um, of course, you can. All the steps that we're doing are right here on the DDEV documentation page and you can just search Google for DDEV docs and you will be right there um, and it is showing you here the the system requirements we need docker docker compose is bundled on Mac and Windows um, and it really mostly DDEV will run anywhere that anywhere that docker will run um, so it it works really very nicely that way okay docker is up We've got Docker going, and now we need to install um, we need to install DDEV itself. Now, those of you who use Homebrew, this is the really easy way to do it. Um, you just brew tap drug DDEV and then brew install DDEV and brew upgrade DDEV when a new upgrade comes out. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the way that works for everybody, whether you've used um, whether you've used uh, brew or not homebrew um, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy the script right here copy it and use that to install so I'm going to say paste that and that just that just installs really it doesn't do anything fancy all it's doing is taking the ddev binary and installing it in user local bin and that's the whole scoop um, so it's got the whole thing. I can now type ddev and it'll show me the options that I have. Um, let me make this a little wider so that it looks a little prettier. Um, so I've got a, a number of commands. If I just hit, hit ddev it'll, or ddev help, it'll show me all the commands I have. I've got config and start and stop and all those things. So there I am. And DDEV is installed, and Docker is installed and running, and I am ready to do something with them. So what I'm going to do is I actually have right here, this is just a checkout of Drupal 8. Uh, most of the time, if I was working on a real site, I would have a repository for that site. But I'm just using a repository for Drupal 8. So if I just do a git log, this is just a direct checkout from Drupal. And... I will start with doing a let's see, DDEV version. Let's just make sure that we've got the latest version. And in this case, we've got version 0.18.0. Um, this is May of 2018, and that's where we're at. And I'm going to do a DDEV config. And DDEV config can usually figure out all the correct answers to what you want. For the project name, which turns into the URL as well, for the project name, it takes the uh, top-level directory that it's in. 
So I'm just going to hit return there. And then doc root location, in other words, where the index.php is, um, in, this, in the case of a straight Drupal checkout, that's right here as well. And then the project type, it auto detects in uh, every case I've tried lately. It's a very nice piece of work, that detection. Um, so I'm just going to hit return there. And there I'm done. So now I'm going to just do a ddev start. The first time I do this, after an install, it's going to uh, bring down, I'm going to do a ddev start here. It's going to bring down um, all of the container images that we need for Docker. And that is a one-time operation, really per, per ddev version. It's a one-time operation. So uh, I will do a dot, dot, dot here on this while it pulls these um, containers. But that's just a one-time thing. Then they're on your machine, and you can start up a site very, very quickly. So I will do a dot, dot, dot here. OK, there it is. It's, it's basically done pulling those containers. That took a minute or so on my fairly slow internet connection. Might be faster on yours, might be slower. But again, it's, it's one time. It's not per site. So the next time we do that, it really comes up quite quickly. So now we have a um, we have this thing configured and up, and I can actually I can actually click on the URL that's been provided here, d8 git, which is based on the directory name that we were in, .ddev.local. So I'll just hit that, and it will start up the site, and we will have an install is what we would normally have. Um, what I would normally do is I would load a database for it. So that's what I'm going to do here instead of going through the through the install process. Um, so I'm going to load a database. And I have one saved away here um, as if I had downloaded it from the site that it goes with. So I'm going to go ddev import db source equals dot tarballs d8 git dot sql dot gz. And that will just install this. And now if I hit this I will have whatever I had here before. And this isn't very fancy because it's just a test thing, but here we are. Um, I can do all the things that you would expect to do. Uh, ddev ssh. Uh, I'm going to ddev, I'm going to ssh in here. I'll do a drush uli so I can get an, um, a login link. And I'll click on that login link. And here I am, and I can do whatever I want to with that um, content. I can create new content, add content, do whatever I want to with it. Um, so there's the, there's a whole site running. I, uh, I checked it out. I ran Composer. I loaded a database, and I have a site running. And if I want to, I'm going to just get out of the container here. If I do, want to do a ddev rm, I can have many, many sites running without using any, uh, without uni using any resources. So I do a ddev rm, and that throws away the Docker containers, but it doesn't throw away the database. So now I have uh, I do a Docker ps, I do a ddev list. There's nothing there. There's no resources being used. I could have dozens of these, and they're only taking up a bit of disk space. But if I do a ddev start on this. Um, it will create new containers and mount that database, and I'll be able to immediately go right back to where I was, including being logged into it because everything is sitting there the same. So I just go right there, and I'm still logged in like I was, right where I was. Um, but I'm not familiar with this new toolbar thing. This is latest, latest in Drupal 8. But here we are. We can do everything we want. Um, Everything is sitting there. So we can do uh, command line things. So for Drupal, I might want to ddev ssh and do a drush cr to do the cache rebuild. Um, I might you know, do any number of things that you would do in a normal uh, site maintenance uh, and site building situation. Um, and now if I wanted to go do a different site, um, 
all my containers are already loaded so I can just do a ddev config and a ddev start right there um, if I go to um, I'm trying to think of what's come out of here we'll go to a different site um, and we'll start it as if it were not there let's go to um, Let's go to one that I have, um, G hit GC history, for example. We're going to start this from scratch. Um, actually, we won't start it from scratch. It's sitting there waiting for us, but I'm going to just do a ddev start. Uh, and it will come right up. And So this has been created from scratch. I could have done a ddev, um, could have done a ddev config on it, but I already had my configuration there, and there's a couple of specialty things in there. So there it is, and I can put that to bed right away, just like that. Ddev rm, I put it to bed. It's taking up no resources except a bit of disk space for the for the um, for the database. And so I can have all the sites that I want to work on at the same time. I don't generally have actually running more than three or four or five at a time because of the Docker, um, the Docker memory impact. Um, you can up your Docker memory if you have lots of memory. You can do lots of things like that. But I find it so easy to put them to bed. And I'm not actually working on more than three or four at a time in any given situation. Anyway, so let's just take a look at what I did, um, I installed Docker. I just searched for install docker-ce for Mac. I downloaded it. I installed it. Then I installed ddev. I just went to the, I just went to the ddev documentation. I could have just searched for ddev docs. I got, get right here. It shows me exactly how to install it for each, um, for each operating system. So I installed Docker and I installed ddev. Um, and then what I did is I, there, I just went through the config process. So I went to, I went to an existing site. I was in D8 Git, and I did a ddev config, and I answered the questions um, that it auto-detected. And I could have changed those if I needed to, but it doesn't, I, I rarely have to. And then I did a ddev start, and that started up the containers right away. Um, here's what would happen, at, you know, at, when I did it the first time, it pulled the images, and that took a little bit of time, and I had to do a little dot, dot, dot there. But now we're doing this the second time, and it doesn't need that. So there we are. We've got it up again, and there it is running uh, with the database that we loaded. And we can use it as we choose. Um, and that is the whole scoop. The commands that are available to us, I can just type ddev and see a number of them. ddev config, ddev start, ddev restart, ddev remove. Uh, really, you could get by with config, start, and remove, and you'd be happy. I use ddev ssh to go into the web container quite a lot. Um, ddev list, I use ddev list quite a lot to see what I have running and where it is. And ddev describe. Uh, gives more detailed information about a given site. Um, I encourage you to try out all of these. You see a mention of Pantheon here. We have Pantheon support to pull down uh, projects from Pantheon. Works very nicely with the with the DDEV pull. And uh, so try these out. And we love to hear from you. Um, we are listening on Stack Overflow on the DDEV tag. We're listening in the uh, Drupal and Typo3 pound ddev uh, channels on Slack. Uh, we have the, uh, the ddev, um, ddev issue queue, of course, uh, where we encourage you to be there, and we'd love to hear from you. So anyway, thanks a bunch, and I hope that ddev works great for you.